Good afternoon, everyone. It is a great opportunity to present to you the project 2NAIP of Veronica Elementary School. The focus of discussion of 2NAIP are the eight M's of learning, namely school profile, executive summary, menu, motor, method, materials, media, motivation, mastery, and measurement. Let me start with a brief profile of the school. The school is located in Barangay Veronica, Lopez Queso, 15 kilometers away from the town proper. The total land area is 1,500 square kilometers. It is accessible to vehicles and children. The school is offering basic education following the 8 to 12 curriculum with an average of 235 pupils as of January 2021. The school has 8 teachers and 1 teacher in charge. Let's move on to the executive summary. Our school implemented project name, Project Yaka. It means Yamang Agikain Kabataha Aangat Sa Pagbasa. Was anchored from the school program, which is a clear development and excellence in learning program. Achieved the desired goal of the modality, teachers conducted a home visitation to monitor how the parents and other members of the family respond to the new learning style of the education. Let's begin to the first step of learning, the milieu. Here are the best practices of Veronica Elementary School. Number one, home-to-home -home monitoring, visiting individual students that need teachers' assistance. Number two, the learning space is free from distraction, well-lighted, and well-ventilated. Number three, the parents, guardian, guides the learners and doing is for verbs will work. Number four, the instructional materials are delivered on time and ready for learning utilization. Number five, online balitaan was implemented in a form of video call, chat, or text messages. Now, let's move on to the second F of learning, matter. The teachers use the provided 504A, MEL, and BAL to make sure that the learning competences are aligned to MEL. The next one is unpacking of MEL is done in order to ensure that they MEL. And then the third one, remedial activity is provided to slow learners. Number four, enrichment activity is offered to defend learners' understanding of the content. The last one, student submission are not too much too soon. The third M of learning is method. Here are the best practices of Veronica Elementary School under method. Number one, the strategy employed by the teacher is for post food and well plan. The strategies used by the teachers were affected on their weekly home learning plan, lesson exemplar, and on their project work plan. Number two, the strategy employed by the teachers is responsive to the needs of the learners in difficult situations. Aside from the use of messenger, some emails were reached through phone call, text messages, and even phone visitation for some learners with poor internet connection. The third one, uses of additional and localized materials. Number four, the strategy used by the teacher is adequate to attain the desired learning outcomes as reflected on the MPS achieved by each grade level, the school generally attain the desired learning outcomes. The next M of learning is materials or the resources of learning. Here are best practices of our school. 
Number one, PTA orientation. Orientation regarding materials to be used by the teachers and all learners were conducted. Another type of learning is media or communication and teaching and learning. Here are best practices of Veronica Elementary School. Number one, online body plan. This was used to validate pupils' output and performance tasks. Number two, text school guru book. Number three, creation of Facebook page. And number four, group chat. Now, let's move on to the sixth step of learning, motivation, or arousing and sustaining interest in learning. Here, our best practices under motivation. Number one, parent orientation. Number two, giving rewards, certificate of recognition were awarded to parents or guardian during the first quarter. Event M of learning is mastery. Here are some practices of our school under mastery. Number one, all teachers provide their own Bible for a budget work for each learning area for implementation. Number two, Report on intervention provided to the learners needing assistance is made available in this school. And number three, implementation of project RSM or what we call read it, spell it, memorize it, and one more morning reading app. And the last one, measurement or getting the evidences of learning. Here are evidences of our school. This school introduced innovation on measuring performance. An innovation was created and implemented to assess pupils' performance or what we call Project Yaka. And we them every student and we use them for giving grades through E-class record with a corresponding percentage for every subject. Now let's proceed to the significant accomplishment of our school. Number one, teachers conducted home-to-home monitoring to ensure that learners will provide their environment which is conducive to learning. Number two, project work plan and intervention for specified strategies that we purposefully plan to attain a certain goal. Number three, the teacher made use of the technology to reach out the learners and continued in delivery despite the distance brought by the pandemic. And number four, the school administrator with the teachers are devoted and dedicated to deliver the quality of education of learners of Veronica Elementary School with the help of Sangonia Barangay, TPA, and the community for achieving the positive and better outcomes of good Aside from that, we conducted an app session and simul. Last but not the least, the innovation of our school. Number one, Project Yama. Yama Adikami Kabataang Aangat Sa Pagbasa. This school-based intervention is an effective tool to help the overall academic performance of the student through uplifting their reading abilities. Number two, programa practice, pagpapaundag sa pagbasa at pagunawa. Provides reading intervention for struggling readers of kinder to grade three. And number three, C to Excel, numeracy program that can increase pupil's performance in mathematics. And the last one, project RSM, read it, spell it, and memorize it. This program can increase the number of pupils who can identify the correct spelling of the word, can spell the word correctly. And now, I am acknowledged the Veronica Elementary School Teaching Course, headed by our teacher in charge, Sir Wendell Leo T. Oleo.
Mom Jenny F. Fabrican, Mom Marina G. Villaplan, Mom Richelda P. Rodera, Mom Richie P. Pasta, Mom Jennifer P. Arandela, Sir Jonathan C. Capillan, and Sir 